Question 156. In Doliolum, the notochord is only present in the tail of the larva, extends from head to tail region, persists in adult life, is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. The Doliolum is a urochordate. And urochordates show the presence of notochord only in the tail of larva. Hence, they are called as urochordates. Other examples of urochordates is acedia, salpa, etc. The notochord which is present only in the tail does not persist in the adulthood of the organism. It disappears in adults. Whereas in cephalochordates, the notochord extends throughout the body, that is head to tail region, and it persists throughout the life. And this notochord in vertebrates is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adults. So option 1 that it is present only in the tail of larva is correct, whereas extends from head to tail regions, persists in adult life, and is replaced by cartilaginous or bony vertebral column, these are the features of cephalochordates. The right answer is option number 1. Question 157. Features such as schizocelum and hemocelum are found in tenoplana, cucumeria, culex, sepia. True coeloms are of two types, schizocelum and enterocelum. And schizocelum is formed by the splitting of mesodermal layer. Schizocelum and hemocelum are characteristic of arthropods. Hemocelums are sinuses or body cavities through which blood flows and the body cells are in direct contact with the circulating blood. These two are characteristic of arthropods. Let's look at the options. Tenoplana. Tenoplana is a tenophore. And tenophores are acelomates. They do not show the presence of coelom or body cavity. So this is incorrect. Cucumeria, also known as sea cucumber, is an echinoderm. And echinoderms show true coelom, but among true coelom, enterocelom type of coelom is seen in echinoderms. So not schizocelom, so this is also incorrect. Option 3, Culex. Culex belongs to the class Insecta of Phylum, Arthropoda. This is correct. Schizocelum and hemocelum are found in a culex. So this is the right answer. Option 4, sepia. Sepia is a mollusk. And mollusks also show enterocelom type of trucelom. So the right answer here is option number 3, culex. Question 158. Choose the incorrect point of differentiation between non-chordates and chordates. We have to find the incorrect point. Let's read them one by one. Non-chordates and chordates. The left side should list features of non-chordates and the right side features of chordates. Point one, central nervous system is ventral, solid and double. This is correct. The nervous system is ventral in non-chordates whereas it is dorsal, hollow and single in chordates. So this is the right point. Option two, Pharynx is perforated by gill slits in non-chordates, whereas gill slits are absent in chordates. This is an incorrect point, students. The chordates show the presence of these slit-like structures in the pharyngeal region or pharynx called as pharyngeal gill slits. So these are absent in non-chordates but present in chordates. So this is incorrect. This should have been here and this should have been here. Option 3, post-anal tail is absent in non-chordates, that is true, whereas it is present in chordates, this is right. Heart is dorsal if present, this is also correct, and heart is ventral in chordates. Incorrect point is about the pharyngeal gill slits, that is option number 2. Question 159, select the correct match with respect to characteristics given without any exception for given animal or taxon. The characteristics are listed on the left hand side. 
the animal or the taxon on the other side. Let's go over them one by one. Option number one, metagenesis and indirect development corresponding to Nidaria. This is true for most Nidarians, but it is not without any exception because Hydra, which is a Nidarian, it lacks metagenesis and it also shows direct development. So an exception lies, that is why it is not the right answer. Option 2, jointed appendage and protostomes with respect to arthropods. This is the right answer. Arthropods have jointed appendages for locomotion and they are protostomic. Protostome meaning that the blastopore develops into mouth. Whereas in deuterostomes, the blastopore develops into anus. So this is the right option. Parapodia and setae in Annelida. This is true in the case of Nereis where Nereis possess parapodia, setae both, but leech which is also an annelid, it lacks both parapodia as well as setae. So this is an exception. This was three. Option four, radula and unsegmented body for mollusks. Yes, mollusks possess radula which helps in feeding and their body is unsegmented but there is a mollusk called unio which lacks radula so this is also not without any exception the right answer is option number two question 160 indirect development involves transformation of a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult this phenomenon is not seen in jellyfish, starfish, tongueworm, silverfish. Let's look at the developmental stages of each one of these options. Option 1, jellyfish. Jellyfish does undergo its larval stage. The common larvae are planula, ephyra, etc. These are the larvae of jellyfish. Option 2, starfish. The larva of starfish is called as Brachiolaria. So both of them have a larval stage. Option 3, tongueworm. Tongueworm is another name for Belanoglossus and Belanoglossus also undergoes development via a larval stage. Its larva being Tornaria larva and it is formed during the life cycle of tongueworm. Option number four, silverfish. Silverfish belongs to phylum Arthropoda and silverfish is ametabolous. It does not have any larval stage and it shows direct development where the young ones resemble the adults. So silverfish does not have any larval stage and hence it is our answer. Answer is four.